Thank you for watching this episode. And this episode, we're going to talk about why you might want to rethink moving to Florida. There's five reasons why I'm going to share with you in this episode. So tune in, get relaxed, let's go. Number one, it's the weather. Yes, you guessed that right. A lot of complaints we've been getting it is the humidity. It's so hot out here. It is the rain, the lightning, the hurricane. Hurricane Ian just went by, which is once every hundred years. And then on top of all of that, it's the sun that heats up so fast and so hot during the summertime, but let's break each one down. So we get lightning and during the raining storm, raining season storm, we can say we get lightning that it's, um, it's pretty gnarly, but it's pretty fun to watch it as well. I like to grab a cup of coffee at home, or if you're driving, we advise you guys to pull over the side of the road. If you are new to a kind of raining season like that, when it's really dumping, I do not be in the left lane switch to the right lane as soon as possible that way it's safe for you and for other people but the lightning before the lightning comes before the really storm comes you will hear the sounds it's going to be a first one beep and then three beeps after that that means within the next 15 to 30 minutes it's going to be lightning and it's probably going to be hard, like hardcore rain because of that we also get a power surge out so you will have the power goes out sometimes middle of the night but usually it comes right back up but the Biggest problem is that you're gonna to have to reset your watch on your microwaves, your coffee machines, uh, and whatever is connected to the power. So we also recommend to plug in your computer to the power outreach, the, the, the search system, so you don't burn out your computer. Let's keep that in mind. Another one, the humidity. Yes, it is crazy. During the summertime, when the raining season is, and that's the problem why it's so humid the humidity level are so high because when the rain coming is down it evaporates back up so usually in the morning it's pretty good i say in the summertime if you ever come to vacation summertime here in southwest florida you gotta do everything till the noon till 12 one o'clock usually after 12 we start getting rain so if you gotta do yard work if you gotta go walk around and explore things uh so morning time that'll be your time to go and do it because then is the humidity is gonna be coming up and the grows and make hair the hair gets messy pretty bad the benefits of it, your nails grow pretty fast your hair grows pretty fast but i personally love it a hard time i have it when i go to west coast and then come back here i have to spend two days in the garage which is beneficial because i just cleaned up my garage and i get sweaty and i have to take a shower extra times but it's okay after a couple days the sweat it doesn't stick no more and it feels like a rain so you will see a lot of local people will drive with the windows down during the summertime just because of the ac the level of the temperature when it's cold inside the car you come outside it's hot uh, it throws you off pretty bad so that's the humidity part sunny part of uh, winter times are beautiful out here and that's why we have a lot of we call them snowbirds but that's one of the points we'll cover it winter time is beautiful it's wonderful weather it's sunny we get rains here and there but not as much as a summertime summertime is the biggest time where we get the rain let's talk about the hurricane you guys know the hurricane Ian just hit us it's september 28th of 2022 it was pretty bad i was here i helped out as much people as i could uh, for about a month after that well the first day I had to clean my my yard out so i get my truck out of the driveway get the boat out of the driveway so we can go help out those people in need on the islands that got stuck out there but what i'm saying the hurricane in was pretty bad and we get those hurricanes pretty often well not that big i don't want to scare you not that big usually that happens once every hundred year but we get them a yearly uh last season my boys were running outside uh, during the rain because it was like level one almost level two so it was just a heavy rain, heavy storm. Uh, if you're coming from Texas, uh, if you're coming from uh, Arizona, you guys experience New Mexico, you guys will experience that. Iowa has that too. Uh, so those states will kind of be uh, exposed to that. Or they know that uh, how the heavy storms are, but I know Seattle doesn't get that as much. Washington, Seattle just gets rain, but it's a little bit different. But in hurricanes, it's pretty gnarly. Uh, level one, two, three, it's, it's doable, but level four and five, if you're ever here in this Southwest Florida, or if you move here and there's a level four or five coming your way, please leave the area. I would advise you because we saw a lot of people lost their life because they were so maybe not educated enough uh, and they stayed behind at home and they don't want to leave their houses. Level five came in, it destroyed and a lot, we lost a lot of people. So please uh, be smart about it. If it's level four or five, um, leave, leave the area uh, just for time being. Trust me, we have wonderful sheriffs instead of Florida. We have wonderful line enforcement that will protect. Uh, they will come in and they will uh, do their best uh, to protect your property, protect your stuff. Uh, like I said, as out there, boots on the ground, 
and we would get followed by the drones from the National Guards. Officers, there were checkpoints, they would check it out, see it. Where you're coming in, they'll check your badge and they'll ask where are you going, where are you going to be at. So all these things being placed so that no looters can come and steal the stuff. So don't worry about leaving your house and thinking people's going to break in because it's going to be protected and the law enforcement is doing a really great job. They arrested a lot of people, over 100 people are looting during this hurricane. I'm sure they're going to be doing a great job moving forward. Another thing, tornadoes. So when we get the hurricanes coming through, you're going to get a tornadoes uh, in the areas popping out. So we saw it during this hurricane last, the Miami side got hit the east side of Florida. They got hit with the tornadoes pretty good. One of the small airports got hit. A few planes got flipped. So that's that's usually comes with the hurricane. Um, so that's those things that you gotta watch out. It's the pretty heavy rains. That it's not usual typical rain like you will see in uh, West Coast, Seattle, California, and New York. It's pretty pretty heavy rains. Lightning surges, power surges out. Uh, the beeps that you hear it that's that's indicator for you to leave the area, get to cover faster and better. Uh, don't go outside because you get killed by lightning a lot faster than you get bit by a gator. <laughs> that's the, that's the two. That's what we say. We, we we even say for you to die by the gator, it's like uh, you get eat by a cow. It's just impossible. But that's another topic we're going to be talking about. It. But there's things you gotta watch out for: hurricanes, the power of them, the tornadoes, humidity in the air. It, it's there. It is presence. And uh, if you want to get your hair back, Florida, that'd be your place. But if you don't like it, I would think twice about that. Anyways, that's point number one. Number two, it's the roads. So what about the roads? We have a few highways here that you got 75 that, that shoots on the west side of Florida. Then you have 95 that shoots on the east side of Florida. And you got a highway 10 way up north that should across from the Jacksonville to Tallahassee. And then there's one more highway 4 that should across from Orlando to Tampa. So that's your only like a four major highways where there's uh, turnpikes they pay for to get across from Orlando down to uh, you can say to 75. But which what I want to say that you need to be aware of the time when you're going, uh, especially the traffic's are getting pretty heavy here in Southwest Florida because like if you're heading from Fort Myers, you're heading to Cape Coral. Uh, for example, yesterday it took me almost two hours to get out of the Cape Coral to get back into Fort Myers. There is few only bridges to get into Cape Coral, uh, but if you're like in the Estero, but in the Springs, uh, Naples, it's um, we have more inland, so you don't have to drive over the bridges. It's a little bit easier, but there's also there is uh, Marco Island. Uh, there's other islands like Sanibel Island that you have to pay tolls. So what I want to say is this, friends, you gotta watch out uh, the time you're heading out. If you wanna wanna avoid the traffic, stay off the road. It was heavy hours or uh, some people they just don't leave like if you live in cape coral they just don't leave after two o'clock why because you have the bay shore they can get out which is not a bridge but it's a bay shore you can share across and get into the north fort myers then you got uh veterans then you got cape coral boulevard and then there's one the 41 that gets into the fort myers downtown so those are like a like a three major bridges with the main road uh, then you, you got to put the brakes down like del prado uh, the, the Chiquita streets, there are major, major streets that drive around it. And what I want to say is that Cape Coral, Lehigh, uh, Northport, all the, all the cities, there's, there's a lot of, a lot of canals. There's a 400 miles of canals that we have here in Cape Coral, Florida. So you do need the navigation. It'll be your best friend. If you're in another area, especially when the weather hits, when the rain starts, uh, be aware of it because we see a lot of people ended up in the ditches, uh, especially like older people when they have to wear glasses at night when the heavy rain comes in, it gets a little bit slippery. And if you're on the roads and everybody drives a little bit faster than the normal, uh, you can end up in a ditch. So be aware of that uh, as well. And like in the mornings, it's very heavy traffic. And then afternoons, uh, yesterday, even like I said, I left Cape Coral about 2.30 p.m. It took me about half, about four o'clock for something. I was already home, so uh, be aware of that. And guys, on the roads, you you see some road rages. Um, don't engage. Just wear them, bless them, keep going. And that part of it, uh, freeways. You have those three lanes. They get off the, if you like to just cruise, uh, nice and easy. People will tailgate you and you know will hint on you to move off after the fast lane from the left lane and switch to the right lane. So uh, you just take. To more like mid lane and the right lane unless i have to pass semi truck so well, that's it the roads be aware of it get familiar with it look at the map um see because there's there are streets that gets enough in the canal so you have to drive around it 
I don't think that you can take shortcuts because you might end up driving a lot more than you need to. Number three, guys, this is pretty good one. It's people. It is a lot different than anywhere else. People here are a lot different. What do you mean by that? They might be a little bit strange because the smile, the way with you, they will hold the door for you. And if you are in the public transportation, they might get you their seat uh, and they will engage in conversation. People love to talk here and people love to engage with people. So locals are very friendly. Um, they're not the same as I would say California, New York, Chicago. If you're coming from those states, um, be aware that people are more, more engaging here uh, and more family oriented uh, as well they mind their own business like my home doesn't have a fence if you drive around you see multiple homes that will not have a fence just because uh, we don't engage in other people's business is their business what they want to do they can do whatever they want uh, and we are their friends to just do barbecue play sports and have fun and again and then when if you go to the restaurant and if you are used to that somebody serving you in a good way there is a good servant here there is a wonderful restaurants they can go check it out but what I want to say is this, don't get offended if you don't get to sit down because sometimes we get the snowbirds, heavy presence of people that will come here and servants, they cannot speed up with all this traffic in the restaurant. So might as well just wave at some restaurants. I wave my hey, I'm gonna grab that table. If there's nobody ahead of me and I go sit down or sometimes if you don't like this where you sit, you want to sit somewhere closer to, you know, if you go to some kind of bars, or if you go to some kind of restaurants, there is live music, you want to sit closer. You just gotta make the request and they are pretty open to help you out. Another one, pure example that uh, when I was out of town, my wife took three of my boys to a uh, fairground and my oldest really wanna go on, on the right, but my wife couldn't leave the other two behind. So there was another family walked by and they said, hey, well, we'll offer you, we'll take you, would you like me to take him with us on the right? And my wife said, yeah, here's his tickets. So that's what I'm talking about. People are here a lot friendly. They will smile, they wave at you uh, in a good way, I wanna say. So come enjoy it. And that's if you're thinking about it, if you don't like that, somebody waving at you, somebody holding the door, door to you, say, sir, ma'am, I'll probably get it, rethink it. Maybe it's not the place for you to come uh, to live. Number four, number four, that is allergies. Allergies is pretty big out uh, here during the springtime. Why? Because everything is start blooming, everything it is start growing a lot faster. Uh, the grass coming up um, and the trees and flowers and, and different, 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 different uh, flowers. So a lot of people when they come here, they don't expect that. Uh, for example, like myself, I came from California. There's also many flowers. There's also many different smells uh, that will spike up, but it wasn't as bad when I came here. Right now, even I'm speaking right now, my nose is a little bit plugged up. Why? Because we are at the beginning of our spring and there's a lot of diff different flowers in the backyard, but it's okay. It's just temperate and there's different medicine that you can take. Also, another thing that you might face uh, or experience if you go to the beach and there's red tide that's going to engage uh, your throat is going to be back of back your throat with itching you'll be sneezing you'll be coughing a little bit weird the first time when i got there and uh during the red tide i was going what's this what is this going on here when you start coughing you start sneezing pretty bad it's pretty unbearable when it gets pretty bad and you see a lot of dead fishes so if you really don't like the part of sneezing coughing uh stay away from the beach during the red tide and the springtime as well, probably not be a good time for you to move. If you have allergies or you are um, prone to, to allergies, just be aware of it. Or if you never had it and you start having this, don't panic. There's, there's medicine, there's different pills you can go take it, uh, you know, buy over the countertop at the Walgreens. There's plenty of those Walgreens, CVSs here in Florida, pretty much in every block where you see Walgreens, you will see CVS right next to it. So don't worry about that, but be aware of, if you are prone to allergies, just, just be careful. Number five, the final one, which is my favorite, because let me tell you why it's my favorite. It's a wildlife. Yes, you heard that right, wildlife. We get snakes, we get turtles, we get gators, and we get fire ants, we get different birds. So, and they're all part of Florida. They're all part of Southwest Florida. Uh, not only Southwest Florida, uh, uh, whole Florida because the wildlife it's where there, it's, there was their home and now their homes coming up left and right uh just behind behind my house uh the homes went going up right now it's pretty fast 
I had this wild lab going out there, I had snakes out there, I had turtles out there, but now there's homes coming up, so they have to go somewhere. So if you don't like wildlife, probably Florida would be a good place for you to move, but don't touch the turtles, don't kill the snakes. There is, uh, you know, try to relocate them, try to call uh, wildlife, see if you can come help you out. If you're afraid to touch them, uh, we do not recommend touch the snakes. If you don't know it, if you don't see it, or if you don't understand which is venomous, which is not venomous, don't touch it. And turtles as well, don't think you can, dog can just run off and tear them apart because they are part of local life. They are part of Florida. They are part of us and we respect it. We value the wildlife. Uh, gators as well, don't be scared. Not one has a knock on my door. There is four incidents there. They would knock on the door, but I haven't experienced it. But always, usually if they do come knock on the door, usually they are lost and you can call the wildlife. They'll come out there pretty fast. They'll take care of it for you as well. And if you got little small dogs and if you see water, if there's water, there's probably a gate in there. Don't walk your dog, small dogs near water. Why? Because there is incidents where people get attacked by gators just because they want to come after your small dog. So if you love your dog enough, don't walk by the lakes, by the any, any areas where there's water, there could be a gator because I personally say to all my clients, to all people that I meet, if you see the water, they could be gators, so stay away from it. Uh, as well, the fire ants, the fire ants. If you step in their nest of those fire ants, oh boy, it's gonna be painful. Try to just kind of fling them off you. Don't try to kill them because they have this poisonous in them, like an acid thing that if you kill them on your skin, that thing is gonna be staying for the next two weeks. So those fire ants, just watch out, put the, put the shoes on. Um, if you're gonna be walking on the grass, you will see those on the beach, but uh, there are on the grasses also. Another thing, those beach lies, oh, they are painful. You don't see them, they're so small, but they bite like a mosquito bite. So usually when the sun down comes down and there is any, you can say grass growing around or any bushes growing around, uh, usually they'll be there. So if you, you see sun coming down, you try to avoid those areas because they'll be coming out out of nowhere and they'll bite you pretty hard. So that's another one that you gotta watch out for. But anyway, wildlife, it's part of Florida. We love them and respect them. And we ask you to do the same thing. And if you don't like wildlife, you might wanna rethink about Florida. Anyways, now you know the five points about Southwest Florida that you gotta think about before moving in. But anyways, but if you still decide to move here and you like all those five points, you are welcome to come to Southwest Florida and we can't wait to see you. Bye-bye.